Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to register your members for team events. It's slightly different from normal events where there are no teams, however, it's not that complicated. We're going to go under conference registration and then just click on conference registration. There will be a page to ask you to log in again, however, I've already done that, so you're not going to see that. On this page with all the cards, you're going to want to pick the one that pertains to the conference that you want to attend. I'm going to be using SLC test as my example today. Under registrations, you will we'll see a red plus sign. Every member you have affiliated will show up in the red plus sign. Today, we are going to register Brandon and Shane for biomedical debate. So let's just go ahead and click register for Brandon and let everything load. You're going to want to make sure all of this is correct right here before you go on. In the options and activities, this is where you will add stuff like courtesy core. Maybe there's t-shirts, maybe there's a lunch, different depending on the event. You're going to then want to go to competitive events and then scroll down to the event that your member is wanting to participate in. But we're going to do biomedical debate today. Once you hit that, it will load for a second. And then down here, we should see biomedical debate and a blank box. And nothing happens no matter what we do inside the blank box because nobody else is registered yet. So we're just going to hit save. And this will kick us back out to the main menu or the main homepage for this conference and your registration. We see Brandon here is now ready to participate or he is registered for this conference, biomedical debate. However, you will see team question mark. This means he's not affiliated with anybody else. He's not on a team. So let's go ahead and register Shane and put him on the same team with Brandon once this loads. So here's Shane. We're just going to click on register, let everything load. It'll show us the same screen as last time, only this time it will be Shane. Going to go down to register for competitive events, biomedical debate, let it load. And now we're going to go in this white box and we're going to hit type in Brandon. We don't even have to type in his full name. It already knows who we're looking for. Now, if you're for competitive events, if it is a team event, it's not going to show you every member for every competition. So it's only going to show me the people in biomedical debate. It won't show me other stuff. It won't show me forensic science or anything else. It's only going to show me people in biomedical debate because only people in biomedical debate can compete or can be on teams with each other. We're going to hit save. It'll kick us back to the home page. And just so we can make sure we're sure, we're going to hit on this I, and this will show us everything again. However, I want you to take note right here. It says Team 10010. Team 10010. This shows us on this page that these two are on the same team in biomedical debate. Let's go and look at Brandon. We're just going to make sure everything's correct, and it is not. If you see down here, not enough team members. We have two. Biomedical debate requires three to four. I'm sure some of you already knew that before. I clicked on the little I. So let's go and register one more person. Let's register Casey for biomedical debate. Let everything load, make sure all that's great. Biomedical debate. Now we're just gonna type Shane to prove that you don't have to type the first person. Oh, if I could spell Shane correctly, there we go. Shane and Brandon. Now see how they pop up in one bubble? This shows us that they are a team. The system sees it as one unit. That's what we want. That's what's perfect. We're going to hit save. Let everything load. And then if you want to check, you can see all three have the same number for biomedical debate. Everything is great. There are no problems. If you need any help, just give us a call at the state office and we'll be happy to help you.